Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you yet another tool, Brena, which you can use to run large language models locally. One heads up, this tool is free for at, to some extent, but you would have to upgrade to Pro if you want to use it for various purposes. Having said that, still seems like quite a decent tool to just play around with the models on a range of your PC. So if you're a PC user, Windows user, you can simply download this Brena client on your Windows PC and then you can start using large language models locally and then we will see shortly as how you can do it. And this is actually quite an exciting feature of Brena because it allows you to run these models on any personal computer, whether you are using open source models or closed source models. Closed source models, I mean that OpenAI is ChatGPT or Anthropics, Claude or Google's Gemini with the API, or you could simply download and run models locally. That is especially useful if you're looking for privacy, offline access, customization, free usage without worrying about any API calls or throttling, or you just want to have some role play, uncensored one or NSFW one, they make sense to run locally, or you just want to play around with your models in your personal AI chatbot. Okay, so, uh, quite user friendly tool seems to me. So let's click on this download Brena for Windows PC in order to get that downloaded. Let me run it. And from here, you see that they have different options. I'm not interested in, interested in buying any of this. I'm just going to go with the free one, which you can see it uh, good for one Windows PC device. And then you can even do with the voice commands too. But you cannot dictate it. Uh, and I think for running the large language models locally, this should be good enough because you can use API based as I mentioned earlier, or you could run hundreds of models locally. And then there are a few other goodies which you can check out. So let's click on download here. Let's wait for it. You see on the top right, it has started downloading. The size is around 800 MB. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And by the way, you can even get an app for your Android phone or your Apple phone if you like. The software is downloaded as you can see. Let's click on this open file and it is going to start the setup. There you go. And I will also drop the link to this website in video's description. Let's try to get this thing installed. Accept the agreement next. And in the similar vein, where you would need to just click on next, next, next and make sure that you have around 1.5 gig of space available. Let's wait for it to get installed. It is going to take a bit of a time. It is installing GGML, Olama, a lot of other things. So behind the scene, it seems it is running Olama there. And it has been installed. It is asking me to um, log in there. How about if I, okay, so I would need to log in in order to use it. That is not cool. Okay, so this is readme. Okay, let's see if I can use it without login. Okay, so unfortunately you have to log into their website in order to create an account and to start using it which is i think uh, not a good deal there for me at least because we have a lot of other options like lm studio and various other where you don't need to sign up anywhere anyway let me create a create an account there and log in to see how it works so i have created my account on brena let's try to log in now and this is the brena application after logging in so pretty archaic uh, interface I would say now you can expand it as much as you like hopefully you can see it now in order to get started either you can click on this settings cog or these three lines and then go to settings let me click settings here then click on AI engine on this tab from here you can either go with open AIs but you would have to grab your key from there if you like or you could simply go for the open source free model and just type its tag here like something llama 3.1 uh, 
um, see, let's go with this one and then latest. And these are the tag. Just click on download model on the right and it is downloading the model. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. You can even hide it by clicking on this download in the background. And the model should be downloaded and loaded shortly. And the model has been downloaded as you can see here. Let's click on OK. And then of course you can delete it if you like. And we already have latest one and also the 8 billion one. And then you can click on OK here. And now um, you can chat with model or you can select other options if you like. And there are a lot of other options. You can go with LLM mode. And it seems that it also has some sort of internal mechanism too to respond to the questions. Something I asked it what is happiness and you can see it is just it has told me this. Now if you just click on this um, capital B here you will see that there are a lot of models here. Now any model which is identified by this home icon it means it's a local model such as we have these through already downloaded Lama 3.1 8 billion and latest one which I guess are the same and then these are all API based if you want to use them you would need to provide their API keys so I'm just going to go with Lama 3.1 here and then you can talk with it what is happiness the same thing interesting and then these are the previous instructions okay, let's try this one again so we have to click this LLM mode. Interesting. Now it is giving me a proper answer. And of course, if you have a microphone, you can just do your speech thing, and then it is going to do it through the speech. You can even use it with multimodal models. And if you have any multimodal model, like any vision model, you can simply click on this pin icon. You can add image file. And even you can add a web page. But of course, in order to do that, you would have to buy the pro version of Briana, which I really don't see any value at the moment because there are a lot of other free options available. And I think this interface can be improved a lot. But other than that, I think quite a good option in terms of free usage. Uh, if you are looking for an alternative of LM Studio or any other chatbot which you are using at the moment, maybe you can give it a try so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching